I'm Nikita for The Developer Show. This is your weekly update on the coolest developer news from Google. We're kicking off 2023 with a new startup accelerator focused on climate change. Google for Startups Accelerator Climate Change Programs will focus on identifying, supporting, and scaling startups that are building technologies to combat climate change. Startups accepted into the cohort will be matched with a network of experts for advice, mentorship, and support across a range of domains and subject matters. Applications are open until January 20th, so don't miss out. Want to celebrate the new year by leveling up your Flutter skills? Well, starting January 9th and leading up to the Flutter Forward event on January 25th, the team is hosting 17 Days of Flutter, a content marathon unveiling brand new content on Monday through Friday from Flutter experts, plus a chance to apply what you learn and share your work with the Flutter community. Whether you're just starting out or you're a seasoned Flutter pro, there will be new videos, code labs, live events, and other curated content to help you along your journey. You can find all of this content on the 17 Days of Flutter website linked below. Android 10 and higher support modular system components that allow for expedited functional and security updates to the Android ecosystem outside of major API level releases and make new functionality backward compatible on already released Android versions. These improvements help make development more flexible and broaden the reach for app developers. The team has built a new extension SDK framework for you to integrate with these APIs, and the first public version has been released. You can get the latest SDK extension 4 available in the SDK manager today, and check out the link below to learn more and see the documentation. Intel and Google have been collaborating on TensorFlow optimizations for the next generation of Intel Xeon processors. These optimizations accelerate TensorFlow models using Intel Advanced Matrix Extension, or AMX. These features are now available as a preview in the nightly build of TensorFlow and also in the Intel Optimized build. TensorFlow developers can now use Intel AMX on the fourth gen Intel Xeon scalable processor using the existing mixed precision support available in TensorFlow. Details on performance improvements, including up to a 19x speedup for several popular AI models, are outlined in the blog linked below. To learn more about all this week's stories, make sure to check the description box below for all of the links. Please remember to like, subscribe, share, and stay safe. I'm Nikita for The Developer Show. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next week. For you to integrate with these APIs, and you can get first public ver- Oh, goodness. Can we redo that one?